Well, here we are again, YouTube fans. This is the next day after I showed what I was planning to do to create an internal BFO. This is my Telefunka, uh, Jubal 8, and we're in the uh, 80 meter code band here. You can, you can hear the CW. switch and let's listen So what did I do? Well, as I mentioned, I'm drawing power from the telefunken. I just turned it off. I'm gonna spin this around. Now, this is one that I've restored myself so I have no problems making these modifications. It's really never gonna be original. In fact, this came to me completely dead and I redid the uh, bridge rectifier, electrolytics and so forth. Um, now, notice that I have a wire that's just loosely coupling to the antenna. Uh, I'm going to uncouple that for the moment. And I'm going to pull the chassis down. So we can see the circuit. And there we are. Now, here I have my bridge rectifier, the switch. It connects back to the two points that I mentioned earlier, and the AC 7 volts. This converts it to DC, rectifies and filters. Also, there's a resistor here I didn't talk about before. <laughs> this BFO circuit with the one mega ohm feedback point draws so little current that if I didn't have the resistor here to bleed the capacitor, the BFO would continue to work after I switched it off. I thought I was seeing something really strange happening uh, as I turned it off and it kept working. It's like, what's going on? Well, it turned out I had forgotten. The BFO uses so little current, uh, less than a milliampere, I believe, that it'll continue to operate unless you put a bleeder in there. This is a one kilo ohm. Again, the yellow uh, first IF uh, transformer, the variable capacitor and so forth. It's really easy to set up and run. And the issue that I want to talk about here is I had identified this point right at the IF transformer in the first two here as a great place to inject. And in fact, I actually demonstrated with my battery operated uh, BFO that that was an excellent place to inject, although through like a 22 PF capacitor. If I take the output of this BFO, which is this line right here coming off the transformer, and I try to even get close to injecting it here. It way overdoes it. I even tried a four picofarad capacitor. And not only did it over inject and desense, but it also added AC hum. Now I'm going to turn the BFO on. Just having it in the vicinity, you can hear the change. So the one change that I have done relative to what I had described is to just loosely couple it to the antenna, just have it in the vicinity. If I overcouple it, I'll start to over inject and get some hum as well as desensing. You can begin to hear the hum come in. But that amount of coupling is perfect. Let's just spin this around for a moment. Again, the Telefunken is an unbelievably stable receiver. It's 
that's remarkable to me. Let's try single side there. So, a remarkably stable internal BFO based on the Hartley design, the simple one mega ohm feedback resistor, it draws so little current, and with just a very loose coupling to the antenna through uh, a couple little uh, loops of the output of the BFO, and we're good to go. Excellent system.